Racheli and Moshe Kassin. And the question is, should Racheli and any newborn, any mother just gave birth, say, Berchat HaGomel? So sometimes in the communities you see a woman uh, gives birth, and a week or so later she says, Berchat HaGomel, sometimes you see, sometimes not. Some people say they don't do that. The question is why? What's the background? So in Shimon Reish Yotet and Allah of Bechat Gomel, there's no mention in the Shulchan Aruch regarding Bechat Gomel for a woman or your lad who just gave birth. But the Mishavuah does mention it several times in the Siman. He mentions in Reish Yotet, Seif Katan Gimel, and he says that the women don't usually do it, the men is not to. And the Berhete, if Aleph says, because it's a unique kind of bracha, it's supposed to be public in front of ten men, and women usually are not in the public arena, so maybe it developed that women do not make that bracha. So does that mean they have nothing to do with the bracha? The Mishra later on says, in uh, in ratio Tet, the Mishra says, that a husband could say for the wife, he says the bracha to her. But we don't really see that happening. So we don't see that the man says the bracha towards her while he's in the shul. And she answers, Amen. I've never seen that. So the bottom line is, the Chazonish in Ochas Rabbeinu says that based on that Mishabur and the Berhete, the man is, women don't make the bracha. Look with that, and Rachel Stipler, that's the B'nai Vak Min Hagelista in that world. Hashomah Zalman says in Mecha Shlomah Helech Hashlomah that in general women do not make the bracha for flying or danger and accident and stuff like that. However, a Yoled that would make the bracha, Hashomah Zalman says, why? Because it's a unique bracha, Bechaz HaKomel, for a Yoled that won't give birth. It's different than accidents and other things. Why? Because she goes ahead and she must bring a korban to a korban thanks to Hashem. So we don't have that anymore, unfortunately. So at least let us say this bracha. So she does it at home. There's ten people. A lot of times you have people visiting, family, relatives. You have ten men, and that's she make it for that bracha and that bracha only. In other circles where it's not so strange for a woman to go ahead, be in the shul, and afterwards go ahead and have ten men come near the woman's section and listen, and uh, so she could say the bracha. And that's what's done in many shuls in Miranam or as well. Rav Muhammad says this also in his safe in Hecha Prachot in Penine Halacha that the minig is for a woman to go ahead after she gives birth and at approximately seven days when she's feeling better and walking around more to go ahead and say the bracha. So there's a different minagim for the Chazon Isha said all. For Shabbat Zaman does say it for your lad that specifically, but doesn't say Gomo for others. And then other communities, no, a woman, if she has it, uh, a need, an, an accident, or something like that. That. So not only for childbirth, but for other needs as well, she would say, Bechat and get ten men together for the bracha. Shalom.